Hi, I'm Leo DiCarlo from QTech. And I'm Dave Mikolak from Intel. We are excited to reach out to you today from the Netherlands. QTech and Intel have been working together on quantum computing since 2015. Indeed. In this time, together, we have achieved many milestones, from coding a high-performance qubit simulator to developing an isotopically purified silicon process for spin qubits to realizing advanced packaging for superconducting qubits. And that's what we have here today. This is our latest test chip with 17 qubits on it, fabricated and packaged by our colleagues at Intel. And we are excited to unbox this with you today. So let's check it out. <laughs> so here it is. Surface 17! 17. <laughs> Yeah, there's 17 qubits on this thing, fabricated on the silicon chip that you see here. It was then flipped, and it's attached electrically to this printed circuit board by way of little tiny ball grid array bonds. And on the other side here, we have gold connectors that allows this quantum hardware to be connected to the outside world. Indeed, this Intel packaging is designed to withstand the sub-freezing temperatures required for quantum computing with superconducting circuits. Yes, all of the components on here are spec to work all the way down at 10 millikelvin, which is way colder than outer space. Now we will test and characterize all the qubits in its device. We're interested in how each of them performs individually and also in how they all perform together when they're entangled. Yeah, that's right, because it's the entanglement that really allows quantum computing to do its magic. Awesome, Intel. Let's get to work. Yeah, indeed. 